Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel CAD Tutorials for Beginners. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the next types of sweep command in Katia V5 generative shape design. So let us start with the generative shape design. So to start shape and the generative shape design and then uh, click on OK. So here uh, we are in the generative shape design now. So let's click on the sweep command here and uh, here uh, if you see the profile type explicit we have already covered we have already covered all the uh, subtypes of it then uh, after that we have uh, covered the uh, line profile type and also uh, all the uh, subtypes of the line command uh, line profile type and then the third type is a circle type so uh, which has uh, its subtypes so three guides then two guides and radius center and two angles center and radius two guides and tangency surface one guide and tangency surface limit curve and the tangency surface so let's see one by one so in this lecture uh, we are going to see uh, the first type which is nothing but a tangent uh, uh, what we can say the three guides okay so here you can see there are guides the guide curve one guide curve two and guide curve three so these are the inputs uh, required for uh, this uh, this type so here in the pictorial representation you can see uh, this is g1 g2 and g3 so three guides we need to create this type of sweep so let's create uh, the uh, guide course here so i will create uh, the sketcher on the top plane so let's create this let's align the axis here and then i will use the line command simple line command i will use and then after that exit the workbench so again uh, we should have uh, all these three guides in different sketches we cannot have it in the same sketch so now again let's create one more on the top plane here and then let's create one more and then exit the workbench so we have these two guide calls and we need to create one on the top so either we can use the side plane or maybe we can create one plane so let's create with a plane and offset from the top plane here and then let's provide a dimension of let's say 200 or maybe not 200 it's quite high let's try with 100 and then let's sketch on the top plane again adjust this axis here and then I will create one more similar guide curve here as a line and then exit the workbench. So now we have this uh, three guide curves. Now we can we are good to go with the sweep type here. This is with the three guides. So select the guide curve one, then the guide curve two and guide curve three. So select this uh, in the sequence and then try previewing it. So now you can see the sweep has been created with this three guide curves and just click on OK. Double click here. Uh, so if you see here, uh, there are uh, options available, relimiter one and relimiter two, we can uh, still provide here as well. So let's try this, uh, right click on it and create a plane. So I'll create a relimiter on this, create a plane on this curve here, guide curve two, let's try this. So reference you need to provide. So first we'll select this normal to curve and then select this curve as a reference here and then point in the middle. So let's keep it as it is in the middle and then try previewing it. So you can see the, if you, if you just unhide this, you can see uh, the sweep is created in between this relimiter and the original plane. So let's create one more here, a relimiter 2 will create. So let's try to change this something here. We'll change the point here. Let's create a point and we'll create a point on the curvature. So just select this curve here and then you can simply provide, let's try 0.75, preview it. And let's make it reverse no i think uh, let's provide it as maybe a 0 point 0 0.5 
or not 0 0.5 0 0.6 and then click on ok Will happen with zero. It's not taking correctly. Just try to click on OK and just click OK here. No, it's there is something, some issue is there. So maybe I will try to delete this. Let's delete this and check this option and then we'll try this again. Just select this curve here, then select the second, then select the third one and then we'll create just try to preview it and then create a review meter just create a plane normal to the curve so select this curve here and then instead of middle point we'll create a point and then yeah so here we are missed with this one so just provide the ratio here let's try and then here select this curvature and then click on preview reverse the direction you will see the point is created here and then click on ok just click on ok again so now uh, if you try to preview it you can see the relimiter one is working now now we will create a relimiter two as well so again create a uh, plane here and again select the curvature this is the curvature we are selecting then instead of middle we are selecting some other point let's try that select this curve again here to create a point and then let's try 0 0.35 and then preview it just make it reverse and then click on ok so now you can see the plane is created here and then again click on ok and just click on preview so you can see the sweep has been created in between these two uh, relimiters we have created just click on ok So if you again uh, just try to uh, expand this sweep, you have these two planes with the relimiter, relimiters and here you can just try to change the ratio here. So let's try to change it to 0.9. You can see the sweep has been updated. Again here, let's try to update it to 0.2. You can see the sweep has been updated. So I can double click here. Now let's see uh, what happens if we if we try to um, try, try to select this uh, guide cause in random. So let's delete this. Again, I will just delete this. Just delete this. Oh, I think I just control Z and I need to delete this as well. So delete this and then delete the aggregated elements and now again i will select the sweep and now let's select the guide curve one and then instead of selecting this i will try to select this guide curve and then guide curve three just select the preview you can see it is selecting from the downward direction so it is considering the guide curve one then it will connect to guide curve two and then it will go to the guide curve three so uh, this is why uh, we should have this uh, proper sequence of this curves, se proper sequence of selection of this curves whenever you are using the, such kind of sweeps. So again, you, you can you can use the relimiters option here uh, to add the relimiters between and, and to create the sweep in between those two relimiters based on your requirements. So I think this is uh, all about the uh, third profile type, which is a circle and of the uh, subtype as three guides. So in our next tutorial, we are going to see uh, this uh, next type, next uh, circle type, which is a uh, two guides and a radius. So just click on OK. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you have uh, enjoyed watching it. Please do subscribe our video up YouTube channel uh, for such more videos. We have already covered all the uh, explicit uh, sweep types as well as the line sweep types in our uh, previous tutorials. If you have not watched them, uh, please do watch so that you can understand it uh, very well. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you have uh, enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much.